Well, here's a uh, video tour of a classic vintage motorhome. This is uh, registered as a 1953 white motorhome. This was uh, actually assembled, uh, put together by my dad, Ike, in uh, 1970, 71. And it was from, uh, the parts were a, a 1953 white school bus and a 1957 Spartan trailer. So, let's get a little tour of it. Show you what he did. I'll start over here at the engine if we can see it. You can see there's actually a little stair here that he put in. Which you can climb up. Get up there and take a look. Ugh. There's inside the motorhome. Here's under the hood. Not too much to see under there except for it's an old flathead six-cylinder gasoline engine. Uh, 400 and some cubic inches. I don't know how much horsepower, but not a lot. Again, this is from the 50s, so... There's about the only thing left of the old uh, school bus, besides the chassis, is uh, a couple of emblems. That's the original grill. White Superpower from the White uh, Motor Company. They made cars in the uh, around the turn of the century, of the 20th century that is, 1900. They stopped making cars after World War I and just made trucks after that. Now, today White Superpower sounds almost racist, but it wasn't. It was just the White Truck Company. And they thought their motors were very powerful, so they said, called it a White Superpower. So let's go inside. There's the front door. And this was the front of the trailer at one time. So my dad took off the uh, tongue and trailer hitch and the wheels and built his little uh, cockpit right here. So here's the original white steering wheel out of the school bus. All the instruments he added. And this is access to I don't know if we can get into it or not. This is how you get into the uh, engine from the inside. And you can see the top of the motor. Originally this had a big carburetor on it and uh, my dad, in an attempt to make it get better gas mileage, put a throttle body fuel injection system on it sometime in the late 90s, I think. But still only got about five, six miles a gallon. These seats and this chair. My dad was an airplane mechanic and pilot, so a lot of the stuff he did was airplane themed. That seat is uh, out of an old airliner. That's the uh, pilot seat. Here's where the pilot would put his paperwork and charts and stuff. And this seat is uh, a passenger seat out of the same airplane, I think. It even had uh, ashtrays from back when you used to be able to smoke inside of an airplane. So this seat right here, actually when you get ready to drive, there's some slides that slides over, you know, move this chair out of the way. Slides right over and then you're sitting right there where you can operate everything. It's got an old uh, 10 speed transmission. Let's take a look around the living room here. Here's the uh, dining room. Again, the trailer is from 1957 and nothing has really changed much inside here. It's pretty much original. Here's the old uh, original propane stove and oven. It's full size. And the sink. Now there's a new modern convenience called the microwave. Most of the other stuff is the... It's pretty vintage though. Mm 
lots of storage in here and all these little cabinets. The bathroom. Not a full size bathtub, but you can sit in there and a shower. And it's got a regular kind of a um, RV type toilet. And there's the controls for like the generator and uh, water pump and stuff like that. And then back here is the bedroom, back door. You can go out that way. Again, this is all the wood and everything is pretty much all original in the mid 50s. Dad built this uh, when he and my mom used to travel. Uh, he traveled for a living or for uh, his job, and they lived in this thing about six months out of the year back in the 70s to maybe early 80s. I'll take a look at the outside here. hard to get it all pictured in the, the camera just because it's kind of stuck here inside this uh, big barn of a garage so I do have some video from a few years ago of it making its way out last time we had it out on the road so I'll try to put that on the end of the of this video Here's some of the uh, little emblems in the door jam. Again, this is a uh, Spartan motorhome. It was a Royal Manor model made by the Spartan Aircraft Corporation. I believe they made airplanes up until about World War II. And then uh, after the war, there was a surplus of airplanes, and so they started making uh, trailers. So they used a lot of aircraft grade aluminum. In their trailers they're very well made and there's the um, little plate out of the uh, white school bus 